Before you came, Inspector, he was trying to persuade me to go to the police with the most fantastic story you ever heard. Apparently, I bribed Swan to murder my wife so that... Uh, correct me if I go wrong, Mark, so that I could inherit all her money. And that isn't all. You remember Mr. Halliday's letter? Well, apparently, Swan didn't steal it. I did. And I wrote those two blackmail notes, and I kept Mr. Halliday's letter and planted it on the body. And the stocking, which Oh, yes, yes, the stocking. Perhaps I'd better tell this, Mark. It might sound more like a confession. I substituted... Is that the right word? Yes, I substituted my wife's other stocking for the one that... Uh, you do follow me, don't you? What else, Mark? He told Swan he'd hide his key somewhere out here. Probably up on this ledge. Swan let himself in. He hid behind the curtains, then Wendis telephoned from the hotel. That brought her... Uh, just one moment. <clears throat> if Swan had used Mr. Wendis's key, it would still have been on him when he died. Besides, how did Mr. Wendis get in when he returned from the hotel? Well, she could have let him in. And he could have taken his key from Swan's pocket before the police got here. But he let himself in with his own key. That came out in the trial. Don't you remember? Come on, Mark. Your move. Uh... Swan could have taken the key down from here, unlocked the door, and then replaced the key on the ledge before he came in. All right, Mr. Halliday, this is all very interesting, but it isn't getting me any nearer what I came to find out. But this is a question of life and death. What else matters? What matters to me is where Mr. Wendis got this money. That's all I want to know. Just a moment, please, Mr. Look at this. The last check he wrote was on the 26th of March. That's the day before this all happened. I tell you, he's been living off it ever since. Mrs. Mr. Banks. Sorry. Well, he hasn't drawn any large sums from his bank. Nothing over 53 pounds. But look, Inspector. Practically every week. 35 pounds, 40, 45 pounds, 50. He could have saved it up. Of course, I could have been planning all this for years. Then where did you get it? Do you really want to know? I warn you, you won't like it, Mark. Come on. All right, you asked for it. When she called me back from the party that night, I found her kneeling beside Swan's body, going through his pockets. She kept saying he had something of hers, but she couldn't find it. She was almost hysterical. That's why I wouldn't let the police question her. In the state she was in, she'd have told every lie under the sun. The next morning, she showed me the money, just as it is now, all in one-pound notes. And she said, if anything happens to me, don't let them find this. Well, after she was arrested, I took the money in that case to Charing Cross Station and left it in the check room. Whenever I needed money, I took it out and left it in some other check room. I knew if you found it, you wouldn't stand a chance. You see, she was just about to give it to him when she killed him instead. <laughs> 